there used to be many more car makers. When the car was still a new thing, an engineering teenager, car makers sprung up in huge numbers, many of them from backyards and sheds as people tried to exploit the new technology. Some, the likes of Wolseley, Alvis, Spiker, Derek, would flourish for a while before sliding into senescence. Others, Ford, Cadillac, Opel, Peugeot, are very much still with us and flourishing. Others still, Duryea, Cleveland, Richmond, Albion, and the incredible Aldi's and Onions, barely register as a blip in history. Now, we are seeing new brands popping up all over once again. Primarily these are Chinese brands, but not all are. All are, though, looking to exploit the electric revolution, making hay while the technology shines seems more important to the buyer than a trusted, established brand. Which of these will succeed? Which will be consigned to history? We've already seen successful spin-offs from existing car makers, such as Polestar and Cupra, but which of the following will be remembered? 5. Alpine Hang on, don't we already have Alpine? Hasn't Alpine been around since the early 1970s? Well, yes it has and for all of that time it's been a sports car maker. Long since absorbed into the Renault Group, Alpine was revived three years ago to make a delectable mid-engine sports car called the A110. You can't officially buy one in Ireland at the moment, but we've driven it and it's beyond wonderful. Now, though, Alpine is about to reinvent itself and go all-electric. The company is already working on an all-electric replacement for the A110, which will share some of its electric tech with Lotus, and it will also create Alpinist versions of new electric Renaults, including the new Megane E-Tech Electric and the gorgeous upcoming electric Renault 5. Put this one on your shopping lists, it's going to be good. 4. Zeker Technically, you can already buy a Zeker in Ireland. Well, kind of. Zeker is the latest brand to be launched by the Geely Company, one of China's biggest. Geely already has significant European interests as it already owns Volvo, Polestar, Lotus, and the company that makes London taxis. So Zeker, which has been established in the Chinese market as a direct rival to fast-selling Tesla, will probably never come to Europe as Geely will probably think that with Volvo and Polestar, it already has enough brands selling electric cars over here. If you like, though, you can pretend that your Polestar or your electric Volvo is a Zeker, as the brands will share electric motors, batteries, and other technology. 3. Bid Yes, it stands for Build Your Dreams, but don't let that put you off. Technically, BYD is currently the biggest producer of electric cars in the world, selling more than 1 million EVs a year at the moment, all of them in the Chinese market. Some of these, like the BYD E3, look like a mutant Suzuki. Others, such as the BYD Han, look sexy enough to be on a poster in your bedroom. Others still, such as the new BYD Seal, could very probably start appearing on Irish roads in the short term. The new seal, BYD likes aquatic animal names, it also makes models called the Dolphin and the Seagull, as well as the Destroyer, Frigate, and Landing Ship, which sound a bit less cuddly in the current political climate, is a direct rival to the Tesla Model 3, and looks like a cross between that car and the new Hyundai Ioniq 6. BYD makes its own batteries, and the seal comes with either a 61 kilowatt hours or an 82 kilowatt hour stack of them, giving it a maximum possible range of 700 kilometers. BYD hasn't announced Irish plans yet, but it's already on sale in Germany and Sweden, so the odds are shortening every day. 2. Lucid Lucid, like a lot of startups, seems to ping between feast and famine in the financial pages. One minute it's a coming behemoth, ready to squish Tesla like a bug. The next, as is the case this week, it's struggling for money and slashing its 2022 production forecast from tens of thousands of cars to maybe 6,000. Lucid still manages to feel slightly different to some other pop-up car makers of recent years, especially the Benfire that is Faraday Future, as its chief executive, Peter Rawlinson, ex-Jaguar, ex-Lotus, has stuck with the brand through thick and thin. 
Equally, it has made one already brilliant product, the handsome, fast, up to 950 horsepower, and long-ranged, 830 kilometers, lucid air. All electric, the air has already proven a critical hit. If only Lucid can actually build some now, then maybe Rawlinson's claims of continuing strong demand for the car can be proven right. 1. Bollinger Motors Bollinger makes big, square pickups and 4x4s with electric power that are so rectilinear in their style, they make a Land Rover Defender look like a mini Moak. Speaking to the Irish Times, Bollinger CEO Robert Bollinger said, in comparison to burning fossil fuels in vehicles, everything about going electric is a million times better. And if your original electric source is generated through renewables, there's no comparison to how more eco-friendly any EV is to any gas or diesel vehicle. And most states in the US are nearing or passing 50% green energy production. As for getting the vehicle from the drawing board into production, until we have trucks on the road, it's going to be endlessly difficult. We just have to keep working and aiming for our goal. Bollinger also confirmed that the company is looking at making right-hand drive models of its vehicles for the UK and Irish market, as the design allows for this to be done easily.